Welcome back to Mass Appeal. Our producer, Lucas, loves to get away from his desk he and does. out in the community. Every once in a while, we let him out. Uh, so last weekend, <laughs> he went to the Berkshires um, to this movie that was filmed in 12 days in May, and it's going to premiere at the Sundance Film Festival. Really cool stuff he got. Check it out. When you think of the Berkshires, you probably envision beautiful fall foliage or the Norman Rockwell Museum. But now you can add Hollywood movie making to the list. I'm standing in what looks like an ordinary cemetery, but steps behind me, they're filming the feature motion picture, The Secret Village. Director Swami Kandon tells us what the thriller is all about. Oh, it's uh, based on actually the Salem witchcraft trial. Um, you know, like the two strangers um, come to the village and trying to investigate. Uh, I write my own story. And then I would like to, when I'm writing, just I, I visualize myself how I'm going to direct it, uh, what the shot uh, that I'm going to place. I really had a nice uh, blend of talent and as well as like, you know, the crew members. Uh, Ali just did uh, Twilight and a couple of other films and she's a wonderful actress. And uh, all the team members actually, in fact, uh, well, I think Richard Rayleigh, he did more than 200 films, uh, like, uh, you know, Office Space and other, he's very famous. Uh, and we all great combination. So without their support, I'm not able to finish up within this time frame. I caught up with star Ali Faulkner to learn more about her role. I play Rachel, and she's an investigative reporter. Um, it's, it's a story of intrigue and trying really hard to accomplish something in your career while at the same time managing uh, the relationships that come along the way. How is working with Swami? Swami is an incredible person. It was wonderful. There, there wasn't one moment that, that I, I enjoyed every single moment working with him. This movie was about creating magic in a matter of seconds for each shot. So I, I couldn't have asked for a better team behind me to help, to help us accomplish that. He's very passionate, he's very talented, he has a great vision, and he's just a very interesting person. I think that'll show up in his work. I got lucky. Every single person I worked with on this project, whether it was crew, cast, everyone was just so much fun. I mean, for the genre, you would not believe what we're doing in between takes. Certainly not being serious. So anytime you, you see us being serious on screen, two seconds later, we're all laughing. Now you've had the chance to work on both major Hollywood blockbusters like Twilight and now smaller independent films. What do you, would you say is the biggest difference between the two? I guess if it boiled down to anything, it'd be time. On a smaller film, you have, like I said, very, very limited time. It's, you know, like creating, creating exactly what you want in a matter of seconds and, and not much time to do anything about it beforehand. It's like, okay, let's create this now and in 10 minutes, you know. And so, and then in bigger budget things, of course, you have all the time in the world. So it's a, it's a different world. Big difference, but I, I love each and every project I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of, no matter what. What was the most memorable part of filming in Stockbridge? It was, it's just incredible, the view, the places here are very old world, and you can feel that. And how about the people? Oh, the people are so kind. Very kind. Um, it's almost like southern hospitality in the north, so I, I liked, I loved everyone. One of the great things about The Secret Village is plenty of local folks were able to get in on the action. So I sat down with one of the extras, Nick Terry. A little bit of Hollywood right here in the Berkshires. That's pretty cool, right? That's right. It is pretty cool. Did you ever think that you would be in a feature motion picture? Um, no, no. I did some acting classes in college for fun, but uh, that's about it. It's pretty fun, though. Finally, producer Sam Raganoff shares what he loves most about filmmaking. I love the fact uh, to be on set where different people from different parts of the world, they get together and they're uh, creating something unique, which is going to be seen later on uh, on the big screen, and how this all comes together, and it's, it's magic. So. Uh, the, the process of creating magic is the best part of filmmaking.